Hey, I'm Kara. Have you ever had to be strong? But not like huge muscles, heavy weights, throwing boulders kind of strong. But has there been something that happened in your life and you had to stand strong for what you believed? Even if it meant not fitting in with everyone else. It can be scary standing strong for what you know is right. God gave us the Bible so we can know how to follow Him. The Bible is God's true message to us about Himself. In it, we can learn how we can follow God because He made us and loves us. When we follow God's plan for us, we can stand out and show others how amazing He is. Don't get me wrong, it isn't always easy. I don't always feel strong enough to stand up for God and follow Him. And honestly, sometimes I wonder, do my actions even make a difference? If I stand strong for what I believe in, will it really matter? You know, there's actually a story in the Bible where we can see how God worked through a man named Elijah when he stood strong and followed God. Here, in the book of 1 Kings, we read that a man named Elijah was under a lot of pressure to stop following God. But let's see how God's amazing power came through when Elijah stood strong and trusted God. Elijah and the Prophets, 1 Kings chapter 18. One day, God told his messenger Elijah to go and speak to a king named Ahab. King Ahab was an evil king. He also did not believe in the one true God. King Ahab and his people prayed to a statue that they called Baal. Even though Ahab was evil, Elijah made a brave choice and went to speak to the king like God had said. When Elijah arrived, King Ahab was not happy. He was mad because he knew that Elijah followed the one true God. Ahab was so mad at Elijah, he started to make fun of him and his God. But Elijah stood strong. He told King Ahab, bring all the people to Mount Carmel and bring all the leaders who pray to the statue. Can you imagine how scared Elijah must have been to stand strong and do what God told him to do? Elijah knew that King Ahab was evil and didn't believe in God, but Elijah still decided to do what God said and stand firm. Listen closely to find out what happened next. Then Elijah went up the mountain to meet Ahab and all the people. Elijah told the people that they must decide. If the Lord is God, follow Him. If Baal, follow Him. But the people were silent. Elijah then told the 450 followers of Baal to prepare an offering and ask their God to burn it up. They prayed and chanted all day to Baal, but nothing happened. Then Elijah built an altar with 12 stones for the one true God. He then told the people to fill pots of water and pour it over the wood on the altar. He had them do this three times so that the wood was soaked. Standing at the altar, Elijah then spoke to God. Answer me, God, so that these people will know that you are the one true God. When Elijah prayed, God sent down fire and burned every inch of the altar. When the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, the Lord is God. While you probably won't have to stand up against an evil king or 450 false prophets to a fake God in your life, you are going to have some challenging moments. We will all face moments where we have to choose what is right. Moments where you question, do I stand strong and obey God? Or do I choose to blend in, even when it goes against what God says is right? But your choices matter. In those moments, remember this. God sees you, He has a plan for you, and He wants you to follow Him. When you stand strong and follow God's plan, you bring honor to Him. So stand strong knowing that your actions do matter to God.